Welcome back, this is Yamit Jack. I mean, you saw it. It's Gunslinger Biolab Suicidal. Alright? That's what the game chose for us. We had no choice in the matter. I mean, we could have chosen to not let it choose for us. But that would be boring. Why would we do that? Linus Tech Tips. I watch Linus Tech Tips. You all watch Linus Tech Tips? It's a good channel. I like it. They're cool. LTTstore.com. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to, to do that. You know, put in a... Not sponsored. Hit me up! Alright? <laughs> Hit me up. Um, anyway, uh, they got that secret shopper thing going on again. If you haven't seen it, you probably haven't. Uh, secret shopper is a uh, a series they started, sort of series anyway, uh, where they pretend to be a uh, unknowing customer and uh, then call up stores and uh, like try and get them to help them buy a computer from their store. So like Dell, Alienware, whatever. Um, HP, Omen, or not HP, Omen, Origin, um, Corsair, you know, all the, all the system integrators, you know, they'll call them up and see if they can help them buy a PC and then see how the whole process is as a, uh, as a customer who doesn't know about tech, you know, to, to kind of walk you through who you should trust with your money. Um, and I think it's a really cool idea, personally. I wish, uh, honestly, I, I, I wish that it happened with more things because um, the only one I know about is, is that one and then like some really old ones maybe with um, some other places but I wish it happened with other things like uh, you know like like I don't know cars it's more expensive yeah but I, I, so <laughs> as, as, the, as the person who would benefit from this um, it's, it's a really cool series, though. If you guys haven't seen it, you definitely should check it out. Um, really, really well done. I think it's... No, it's not what you do, you stinking dummy. You dummy. But I've uh, I watched the first episode of that today, and I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's one of those series where I'm like, man, I just want to watch all of it. It is like, you know, 20 minutes an episode, so you can't really put it all up at once, and then you can't really flood your inboxes with it also like I get it I get it but I want it all man I want it all that's what I woke up to this morning and I was uh, I was very excited when I saw it because it was it was one of my favorite uh, like ideas that they ever had on that channel um, I think it was really 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 cool and then uh, they're doing it again and it's just it's it's shocking to see because I don't buy um, from like system integrators right like I've build my own computers because I know how to do that and I'm confident enough to, to do that and uh, I have experience doing that and I'm fine with that right like I don't I don't go to you know HP or Corsair or Dell or whatever to, to get a computer right um, and even even when my family does I, I, I wouldn't let them I would build their own and then get it working myself because like that's what I do I enjoy that right like that's fun to me um, or I would uh, at least recommend them a computer that they could buy, you know, if I didn't want to be tech support for them. I'd at least push them to their own place so they would they wouldn't have to, you know, go through the like purchasing process with uh, w with employees there, and they wouldn't have to uh, go through like tech support with the employees there because I just helped them if their computer came and didn't you know the graphics card was falling out or something like that, right? So like I don't have experience with these people, right? With the uh, with all of these uh, system integrators, I don't I don't have any knowledge of uh, of who's good and who's bad, right? So to to be seeing it so kind of like clearly here that they all for the most part kind of suck <laughs> is uh, shocking. Cause it, it's just it's amazing watching it because it really like showcases how little. Most places really care about their customers, <laughs> and there, there's there's a trade-off, right? There's a trade-off. There's 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 a trade-off. Okay, so you have you have two different kinds of um we're getting armor, yeah. You have two you have two different kinds of of, uh, of system integrators, right? You have the system integrator who will help you, okay, find a good computer. Okay, you have you have the system integrator 
who will like walk you through the process, figuring out like what specs you want and what kind of stuff you're doing and, and all of these kinds of things. The important questions that you need to ask as, as somebody building a computer, right? Um, and then you have the system integrators who at least have good value on their computers. They don't, cr they, there is no crossover. So it, it, it kind of, the way that it kind of goes is if you want a good computer, you have to call them up and then find who's not going to help you get a computer. Who's, who's doing the worst job of, uh, who, who's the least helpful, the least friendly. They'll probably have the best, <laughs> uh, like deals for, for computers. Um, there's no crossover though. If, if you want, uh, a a you know there, there's there's no I hate this stupid map man if you want a good computer you can't go to the people who are gonna be helpful it seems like there's like a, a certain budget that they have you know and they're like well we only have this much budget okay we can spend this much on the computers and this much on customer support and then take well no and, and then um, or we could spend this much on the computers and that much on the on the customer service you know they, they don't they don't like split it evenly and then you know no matter what it is you know that they're all taken home like you know 70 percent of the dang cost of it is profit anyway right <laughs> um yeah it's just it's fascinating to see because there's like just garbage how bad customer support can be you know because I've only ever had to call up, like, my my uh, ISP and uh, be like, Hey, so it seems like my router that you guys gave me doesn't have, you know, QS. What the heck's that about, eh? They're like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, well, can I talk to somebody who does? Um, I, f I forget exactly what the example was, but uh, I was looking for... Uh, I can't remember. I was, I was looking for a specific feature that's like really common on routers. Um, and uh, I called up my ISP and I'm like, hey, so like your last version of this router had this. I can't seem to find where it is on your new version. And they, they sent me around. It took me like an hour to finally find somebody who actually knew what they were talking about. Because everybody I would talk to, like, I don't know what that is. You know, you, you probably don't, you know. Um, we can send a tech out and like they can fix the problem for me. Like, I don't need a tech. I need, I need somebody to like tell me where it is in the in the OS on the router okay it's not it's not a tech person thing I mean it might be but they don't they don't have to come out to my place you know they they just have to like you know look at their you know system and then be like oh yeah it's right here you know like I don't I don't need them to come out to my house and point it for me you know um, so it just, it just bounced around to, to like so many different people looking for uh how the heck we uh we get whatever it was it was some kind of like i need like i had some kind of port problem or something like that that i had to solve and there was uh, some feature that that uh, was common on routers but wasn't available on mine it was available on the previous one and anyway, it took me like an hour bouncing around between people who had no idea what i'm even talking about i'm like i just really would love if uh if you guys uh would like put me on the line with somebody who actually understood stuff about it when I'm they're like oh I don't know what this is we're gonna transfer you over to this department and they're like oh you know that's not really a question for us that's more of a question for the marketing department I'm like I don't care who you send me to just send me to the random person in your office who happens to know a little bit about tech I don't care okay <laughs> like I just need to know my answer here um, but nobody ended up knowing it. And then finally, when I got somebody after like an hour, they were like, "Yeah, it's not available on the on the newest version. It's gone." And I'm like, "Well, what the heck? Why would you get rid of it?" They're like, "I don't know, man. It sucks." I'm like, "Yeah, it kind of does." And he's like, "Yep. Anything else you need?" <laughs> That's basically how that went. But uh, oh, it was just like so stupid, having to go through so many hoops to get it, and then to know that people who are like trying to buy your stuff in the first place end up having a similar thing. Like, I had, um, competing, uh, ISP for my area, Shaw, I'm on Talos, they're on Shaw, they came up to the door and they're like, hey, we're gonna, 
we have we have this offer going on that we can um, uh, you know poke you up get you a better deal right I'm like hey that sounds sick I'm happy to switch if you have a better deal and I still get what I want um, so they're like yeah it's like 150 megabit or whatever for like 30 bucks or something which is significantly better than the like hundred dollars I'm paying for 150 right now um, so I was asking like you know hey is it a synchronous pipe is it not a synchronous um what's it called the word is escaping me at this point um, Anyway, there's there's a, there's a specific term for when uh, you have uh, a, uh, a like a connection, a line, you know, that uh, has equal up and down. Forget what it is now. I'd recognize it if I read it, right? Because that's what the term is for the stuff. It's just escaping me right now. Um, and uh, I ended up having to get like transferred around again. I'm like the. <laughs> What the heck are you, like, I mean, just, just ask me what it is if you don't know. You know, like, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> you don't have to transfer me. You know, so anyway, finally, finally found it. And they're like, oh, well, no, it's, it's like 2 megabit up or something like that, 150 down. Like, that's completely unusable. Um, and then the part that gets me is how hard people will try and sell you on something, even after you've already made it clear that that's not what you need. Because uh, in, in the case of this Shaw thing, I was like, hey, um, like she was like, I'll transfer you whatever. I'm like, just what's the upload speed on it? You know? She's like, well, why do you need, why do, why do you need upload? Like, why, what, what are you doing that requires upload? You know, you can watch movies with this. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know, I know. Okay. If, if I'm using tech words that you don't understand, I probably understand more about it than you do. As a marketing team's person, I'm sorry. I'm not being rude. You're probably better at selling stuff to people than I am. You know, we have our pros and our cons. Um, but they just, they just, they just keep pushing. They, they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and uh, they won't give up. You know, they don't give up. They will, they will keep on pushing, being like, hey, well, why do you, why do you need this? Why do, you, why would you, why would you not want cheaper internet? Because it's not cheaper if you're not getting me what I need out of it. You're not you're not matching the the the. It's not the same product. It's not cheaper. It's it's like it's a different product, <laughs> you know. But but they'll uh, they'll insist. It happens like frequently too. That um that I get messages from uh, from Sh from Shaw, just and uh, even like cell phone companies. We'll, uh, we'll oftentimes be like, oh, and what are, you know, if I'm at like a uh, Best Buy or a Future Shop or Staples or, you know, whatever, not a Staples, Walmart or something, you know, and I'm in, a, I'm, in a, I'm in an area that there's phones. Always. Always. And, and who are you with? Who, who are, you, are you happy with them? You know, what, what, do you want to switch? We, we have we have this thing. I'm like, and it's like, it's, it's like I, I've worked as in that position right I get it I get it but even when I was working there I you know there's a reason I'm not working there anymore I think that anybody who can do that job is um, I don't want to be too rude about it but I, I, I feel like there's a certain conscience that uh, yeah you have to either kind of give up or uh, you know you desperately need the money um, I, I feel like you're n no good person in a good situation is going to work in that position. You know, if you're going to a, a, st a store or whatever, and, uh, oh, gee, I thought I'd be able to make it through. If you're going to a store or whatever, and there's uh, people who have, like, expensive stuff on and, like, expensive brand name clothes and they're trying to sell you phones, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. I think that person is kind of... I, I, I think that they might not necessarily have the conscience that I would expect out of somebody who I might want to, you know, be in the presence of, uh, personally. You know, sorry, but I, uh, you know, obviously if, if that's the only job you can get or whatever and you don't like having to do it, that's one thing. 
But yeah. if, if you're like, yeah, I love my job. I love selling phones to people. Like, uh, you're probably not somebody I want to be a friend with. Probably, probably, I, I think that to do that and like it and be like, yeah, this is the job I want and I'm passionate about this. I think that to be in that kind of a position, you kind of have to throw away a certain amount of your humanity, sort of, you know? Because it's just like, they, 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 they have no regard for your own finances, you know? Like, like I can tell them that, no, I still have, like, you know, $900 to pay off on my, uh, on my current phone plan. I can't really make the switch. And they're like, oh, well, you can just, like, you know, you just switch over and then you're still paying the same amount. You know, you're still, you're still doing this. I'm like, no, because I still have to pay my $900 for the dang phone. Like, well, you get a new free phone. You can bring your phone and say $5. No, but I... You're not giving me the $900 that I need to pay for my phone. And they just don't care because they just want to get that phone sale. They would rather me be in debt and like, you know, crippling debt. They would rather that than, uh, than them miss a phone sale, you know? And I, I, feel like, I feel like that's throwing away a part of your, I mean, the respect that I have for you anyway, personally. But again, if that's the only job you can get, and you're not like passionate about it or whatever, then that's one thing. But I, I've met some people who just really love doing it. I'm like, yeah, there's something, there's something wrong with you if you feel good about what you're doing here. It's like I worked at a place that had uh, financing before too. We gave credit cards to people who had no possible way of paying those off, and then they put a lot of money on it. And they're like, yeah, I don't have to pay anything for 12 months. I'm like, yeah, it all gets backdated, though. So make sure you pay it off before those 12 months are up, you know. Make sure there's nothing left on it. It's all gone. You know? And uh, they wouldn't... They wouldn't, uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I didn't get to check their credit cards again, but I have a feeling that I've sent a couple of people into crippling debt because they wanted to get a computer and I had to sell them a couple of extra things. I mean, it's just, you, you, you can look at them, right? You can look at them like debating over the decision, being like, oh, it's a lot of money. I don't know. Like I have like a year to pay it. I don't have to pay anything right now. Like I can pay it in like a year. They're like, yeah. They're like, yeah, all right, sure. And then uh, they sign up for it and they get their computer. It's not even a good computer, you know? It's not even like a <laughs> something that really is that good for them. And then they're uh, taking it home and they're disappointed with their purchase. And then they end up in crippling debt. And I'm like, yeah, I could have like helped them out if I was just, I don't know, my, my dream job is to be, uh, my, my dream job is to work at somewhere like a Staples. You know, in that like tech sort of thing, but without the pressure of selling stuff, you know, without the pressure of having to meet quotas and all that. That's my dream. Excuse me. That's my dream job. Cause there was something special when, uh, when a customer would come in, I'm not playing again, by the way, it's, it's just ramble time at this point. There's something special when a customer would come in, you know, and they'd be like looking for something. And then I'd find them the solution that they needed at the price that they had. And then, and then to see them just light up and be like so happy and excited to go and set this up. There's just something special about that, you know, like finding the right solution to their problem. Even if they didn't even know they had a problem and then they get the solution and they're like super hyped and super excited to go and like set it up, you know, and then to see them like coming back and being like, hey, yeah, you sold me that, uh, you know, whatever the other day. You know, we got it set up. It's really, really cool. Thank you so much for, for helping us out with it. Like that, that was why I wanted to work at Staples. Um, I had a lot of that. I had a lot of that. None of my, my, and it's funny because uh, the people who would do the job that they were supposed to do, I would often get customers coming to me and being like, hey, you know, what time do you work? You know, I don't really like any of these other people. <laughs> um. So I'd tell them when I work and they'd come back and, uh, you know, get help by me. Uh, we'd be talking about like a computer or whatever. And they'd be like, hey, you know, I really 
Thanks a lot for the help. I don't really have the money right now. When do you think you're going to be working next? You know? Then they'd come back and they'd be like, hey, so I was in here, you know, the other day. You weren't here. You know, I, nobody else was really helping me. They're trying to sell me all this stuff. And I'm like, yep. 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 <laughs> it happened all the time. Like, it was like a daily occurrence when I was working there for the most part. Um, where I had customers coming in and, and thanking me for for uh, for helping them find what they wanted or telling me that they didn't have a good experience with some of the other employees in the store or just, just really liking me personally helping them. And that was, was a really good feeling. But it was always funny to me because I was always the one who was getting pulled aside and being talked to. And I'm like, y'all know that there are many customers who are only coming here because I'm here. <laughs> but I didn't have the numbers, right? I didn't have the numbers because I'd sell them a computer and be like, yeah, you know, you don't, you're probably going to want this and this and this later on. But like right now, you're going to want to make sure that you get like a good computer for you right now. And then, you know, come back when you when you have the money and pick up, uh, you know, a nicer keyboard or a nicer monitor or whatever. And I get those attachments, but it wouldn't be on the same bill, you know? That's what they need. So you have to like, it's a ramble for another video probably really. Um, but I always found it funny because like, so many customers were coming in and asking for me specifically and then I get pulled away for not selling enough to them. I'm like, I've sold that person like 18 things in the last like month. They'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> but I uh, end up getting fired anyway. But thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment for anything. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.